this is test tube division. And this is an example of the first of three special cases. In this case, there is a zero in the tens place of the divisor. So we'll be doing a, a distribution, but when we get to the tens place of the divisor, there are no skittles, so we'll have to hold that place. The dividend is 66,000. 867, and the divisor is 200, no tens, 7 units. So when we distribute, each part of the dividend has to get its fair share. So we'll distribute the largest, the tens, thousands place of the dividend to the hundreds, the units of thousands to the tens, and the hundreds to the units. But let's think about what happens when we get to the tens place of the divisor, because there are no skittles. So this will be a place holder, but we can't distribute beads to uh, divisors that are not there. So let's begin the distribution. We'll share ten thousands with hundreds. If there were th tens, we would give them thousands, but there aren't any, and we'll share hundreds with units. Can we continue? Yes. Okay, everybody gets their fair share. And I can continue. And I need to exchange a thousand for ten hundreds again. Okay, and I cannot distribute these any further. So I'll go back and look at what the unit plates gets. It's three hundreds in the quotient. And I'm also going to record what I've used up. 2,100 plus 60,000 is 62,100. That's what I've distributed. So I'll subtract what I distributed from what I started with, and I should have 47, 47 hundreds in my cup. And now I can clear the board. So I'm finished with 10 thousands. I'll shift thousands over, I'll shift hundreds over, and I'll bring down the tens place, which is six. And I'll also bring down the tens place on paper. And now I'll be distributing thousands to hundreds. Hundreds would go to tens if there were tens to go to, and there are not. And tens will go to units, and I'll record the units place answer, which will be in the tens value. So I'll start the distribution. And the answer in the units place is two tens, which I will record. And I also need to record what I used up. Four thousands. And this is seven tens taken twice, or seven taken two times is fourteen tens, one hundred forty. So four thousand plus one hundred forty. I can imagine the zero there. And when I distribute those, what I have left should be 62, 62 tens. Clear the board. I'm finished with thousands. Hundreds will go to hundreds. Tens will go to tens. Units go to units. And I bring my units 
digit down, which is 7. And I bring it down on paper. So I'll be distributing hundreds to hundreds. If there were tens in the divisor, I would share the tens with them and units to units. So I've gone as far as I can go. And um, everybody got their fair share. The answer is what a unit gets, which is 3 in the units place. So I'll record the 3. And I'll also record how many beads I distributed. So six hundreds. And this is 7 taken 3 times is 21. So 600. 21, which I'll subtract from 627, and I should have six beads in my cup, and that's my remainder. So 66,867 divided by 207 equals 323 remainder 6. So we'll be dividing 78,423 by 320. Here's the divisor, 300, 2 tens, and 0 units. And if we remember the three rules of division, everybody has to have exactly the same amount, their fair share. There can't be a remainder greater than or equal to the divisor. And the third rule, the answer is what one unit gets. If there's no units, if there's a zero in the units place of the divisor, we'll have to think about what the unit would get if there were units in the divisor. So that's a new issue for us to confront. We'll distribute 10 thousands to the largest part of the divisor, thousands to the tens place of the divisor, and if there were units, they would get hundreds. That would be their fair share. If there were units, I would give them their fair share of hundreds. If there were units, I would give them their fair share. I can't continue because there are enough ten thousands to distribute fairly to the hundreds. So we'll stop. So each of the hundreds got two, each of the tens got two, and if there were units, their fair share would be two hundreds. And that's what I need to record. Their share would be 2, the unit share would be 2 in the hundreds place. And I also need to record how many beads I distributed. This is 60,000. 60,000 plus 4,000 is 64,000. 64,000. which means I should have one ten thousand and four thousands left, which is correct. So I clear the board. So I have one ten thousand left, which I will exchange for ten thousands. And now I'm finished with ten thousands. I'll move thousands over. I'll move hundreds over, and I'll bring the tens down. I'll share thousands to hundreds. Hundreds to tens. And the units would get 
tens if there were units in the divisor. So I've gone as far as I can go because there's only one thousand left and I can't distribute that fairly. So the hundreds each get four of their fair share. The tens each get four of their fair share. So the units fair share would be four in the tens place. So I'll record four in the tens place of the quotient and figure out what I have used up. I've used three taken four times, 12,000 plus 800, 12,800, 12,800. And I should have one, six, two in my cups. So I'll clear the board. So I have one thousand left, which I can't distribute. So I'll exchange it for ten hundreds. And I'm finished with thousands. I'll slide everything over and distribute hundreds to hundreds, tens to tens, and units. If there were units, that would be their fair share. So I'll start the distribution. I've gone as far as I can go. I'm finished with hundreds. So the hundreds fair share is five hundreds. The tens fair share is five tens. And the units place fair share, if there were units, would be five. So I need to record five in the units place of the quotient. How many did I use up? Three taken five times is 1,500 or 1,500 plus two taken five times tens or 10 tens, that's another 100. So that's 1,600. 1,600 and my remainder is two tens, twenty three, twenty three, remainder twenty three. Seventy eight thousand four hundred twenty three divided by three hundred twenty equals two hundred forty five, remainder twenty three.